In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to draw a circle in your Vectric software. Simply go into your design tab and under create vectors, use the icon here to draw a circle. Click on that and that will open up the draw circle tool. Now the easiest way to draw a circle is simply by using your mouse, whereby you use your left button and you drag your mouse to create your shape. So to do that, you want to start by creating your circle where you want the center point of your circle to be. So for example, if I wanted the center of my circle to be at X5, Y5, I can simply click here using my left mouse button. And if I hold that down and use my mouse and drag it out, you can see that as I'm moving my mouse back and forth, I'm altering the size of my circle. And you can do this by eye, but if you wanted to be a little bit more precise, you can see we've got a very handy radius field displayed to the right of our drawn out circle. In which case, if you are happy with the current radius, so this being at three inches, I can let go of my left mouse key and you can see that my circle has been created here. Now, if I wanted to further edit my circle, you can see I'm displayed a very handy radius field here. And if I click in that field, I can edit that. So I can delete three out and then using my keyboard, I can type in a different value. For example, if I wanted this circle to have a radius of one inch, type in one followed by the enter key. And you can see it's updated that for me there. If I wanted to create further circles that are also at a radius of one inch, I can simply just go in, click on a center point of where I want my circle to be positioned, and then just click in place like so. And if I wanted to further edit a circle, again, I could just adjust the radius handle to two, for example. So let's just undo that. Now, alternatively, if you wanted to create a circle where you're displayed the diameter rather than the radius, simply come over into the form, click on the diameter radio button here, and then you can enter into the form exactly what you want that to be. So for example, you could say, I want a circle that has a diameter of one inch. Go ahead, press create based on my X and Y positions, and it will create that there for me. Alternatively, again, if I can draw that out, you can see that we're actually displayed the diameter field uh, to the right, which is super handy. And then again, if you wanted to further edit the size of your circle, it's worth noting that you're actually adjusting the radius, not the diameter whilst you're in diameter mode. And you can see that's displayed here by this handy little dashed line that's notifying you that this is the radius that we are altering. In which case I can go in here and further adjust that for example, put one in there, followed by the enter key, and you can see it's done that there for me. And again, I can just simply click to create more circles. Now, if I wanted to move my circle, I can simply click on the center point here and then just move that into a new position. Now, if I wanted to edit a circle that we've already created, simply go to the circle that you want to edit, hold down shift and then click on the circle and then that will enable you to edit the size of the circle whereby you can just pull on that radius handle to adjust the size or again alternatively you can just adjust the radius field here. And that's pretty much how you draw a circle in the software. 